Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Lungmas and I am a vertebrate paleontologist here at the Sam Noble Museum of Natural History. We're here today to talk to you about a recent news story that you may have seen of a fossilized saber-toothed cat cub found with soft tissue preservation and published by a team in Russia in Nature Journals. There's a couple of things that are really important when you're working to try to make something into a fossil. So two of the most important things are that you are buried quickly and that you are not exposed to oxygen. And so if something is trapped in the ice, it really creates these ideal conditions for something to fossilize and for that soft tissue to be preserved really, really well. So that's what makes a find like this possible to begin with. That cub belongs to the true saber-toothed cats. Here we have a cast of a Smilodon skull. This would have been a very closely related animal to that cub. That cub is dated to around 32,000 years old. But what people are less familiar with is as far back as 20 million years ago, we had other cats that were living on the environment. This is actually what we would call a false saber-toothed cat. So looking at it, you see a lot of similarity between the two skulls. But this animal, which is called a denictus, is actually outside of the group Felidae that all living cats belong to, including your house cat, for example. Here we have a fossil tooth of that denictus, just to show you as a comparison. These animals would have been around the size of a small leopard. So if you can imagine, they would have been the apex predators of their environment using these large saber-toothed cats to hunt the antelope that lived here in North America in the Miocene. If you're interested in learning more about the fossil history of the American West and of Oklahoma, please come see us at the Sam Noble Museum of Natural History.